Hello, hi guys, you're back with Inam and the iPhone 6 on the left versus the 6 Plus on the right. And we're going to be comparing the optical image stabilization on the 6 Plus versus the digital image stabilization on the 6. So slap that like button and let's get started. We're currently shooting with the front facing cameras, so we'll switch around. But before I do, I'll just show you the mount that I'm using. I've got both cameras mounted on the same one, so they're equally moving around. One isn't more so than the other. Links will be down in the description box below for more information. Using the rear facing cameras and just to pan around so we can get a feel for the lighting and the conditions. And one of the differences between both these handsets is the optical image stabilization. Apart from that, both cameras are identical. So as I say, this is software stabilization on the 6 versus hardware stabilization on the 6 plus and see how stable they come through and we're just gonna have a quick walk up here for the change of lighting actually looks pretty dark where I am to be fair and see how stable that comes through we just pause for a sec and we're gonna be switching audio between both devices see if there's any noticeable difference between the two just look up to the treetops give it a second go back down we'll do it a little bit faster this time see how well it does that and then we're just going to come down back to under the tree box here see how good that looks on the slightly darker side on the screens give them a second or two to focus in I'm not going to be touching the screens at all so all the focusing will be done entirely by the handsets so that looked pretty cool let's just have a, a gentle walk down to another part of the park here another tree looking incredibly detailed on both here so carry on going down give you my feet we look up at the sky and it's a pretty nice day to be fair it's not sunny here in the UK but it's not raining so it's a good day give it a second to settle down and both screens looking absolutely awesome you can see the auto focusing doing this job pretty quickly colors look pretty vibrant you just go up to the sky and then we're just gonna go down to the tree here see how quickly they focus in that was pretty quick to be fair we just go down to some leaves see how good or bad those look go up to the tree again back down give them a second to settle down they're looking incredibly detailed I've got to admit back up at the sky or the path even or go up and then back down, back up, and then back down again. We'll do it slightly quicker, not giving it as much time to settle down. See how well they cope with that. And we're just going to do a gentle jog here. I'm not that fit, as I said, so if I go out of breath, you'll know why. I'm a little bit like Homer Simpson in that sense but it gives a, a good show on the screens to see how stable both these devices are. As I say, optical image stabilization on the 6 Plus versus digital image stabilization on the 6. And I'm walking through here. It seems pretty shaky on the displays. Certainly on the 6 Plus, it looks more shakier for some reason. But again, we'll give it a good comparison looking back up at the sky looks pretty cloudy over there to be fair doesn't it and we look back down again grass looking very vibrant indeed give it a second here and then back up do it a little bit faster see what that looks like and we'll settle down here that looks pretty cool to be fair 
and that was a comparison between optical image stabilization on the 6 plus versus digital image stabilization on the 6 do let me know in the comment section down below what you think which one looks better and is it worth spending that extra cash for the 6 plus compared to the 6 just for the optical image stabilization alone using the front facing cameras now and as ever any comments or questions you guys have got hit me up in the comment section down below there or follow me on twitter and on instagram at inamkafor and slap that like button for further comparisons like this and if you haven't already done so hit that subscribe button just below it doesn't cost you a single penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos thanks for watching have a wicked day and we'll see you next time